get some action here. Josh Jones with the uh, throwback to the Pride FC tattoo. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what that's for. The freaking uh, great American flag shorts, too. My man's rocking the look. Chin up in the air. Very, very, very straight up and down with, with, with the chin there. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Willing to throw big shots. I like it. He's throwing, throwing for power with every shot here. Marcus Thomas kind of standing in front of him, just absorbing a lot of shots here. Questionable strategy. It's, you know, the Rocky defense doesn't really work in MMA. It's not, not the route you should go. You know, interestingly enough, Josh Jones throwing feints in there. I don't know if he even knows what he's doing, but he's getting a reaction, pumping that door. I recognize, recognize that leg kick that dropped him down a little bit. Let's see if uh, Marcus Thomas goes back to that. Nice leg kick. Jones said, no, that did not hurt, which, of course, means it hurt. If he's intentionally snapping down, well, that's a pretty good job there. A heel kick to the calf. Nice little front headlock. I like it. Squeezing for his life. 50-50 position double. Under Josh double. Jones is definitely a all-one-direction fighter. 100%. 100% at each time. I, Interesting sequence here. I think Marcus Thomas was going for the single, and Josh Jones decided the old school rope a dope. Think you taking me down? Change my level and go with it. Yeah, he went with it, ended up on top. I like his shorts. His shorts looking nice. This is where you see that he's pretty green on the ground. That there's a underhook on the half guard side. Both guys should be working towards that mm -hmm. area. And he's not trying to defend that underhook at all. Not at all. Watched a lot of Ronda Rousey with, with the head control. Get some katakatame. Not great against a guy who's competent enough to use his underhook. Again, you know, this is where we see the, the beginnings of guys learning to fight. That's right. Uh, you know, a lot of places you can get into a fight a lot sooner than other gyms. Exactly. And in the area, we, we expect to see these guys. And like you said, I, I promise I was making these same mistakes as, as I was coming up. Both guys are game, and you got to respect them for getting in there and trying, and they're both trying. Pretty Josh hard. Jones is bringing some good good pressure here, even from the guard. Mark Thomas isn't breaking down his posture at all. He's just kind of got his legs wrapped around him, not really trying to break the posture down. There we go. Yeah, almost using the guard because he just knows it's a position that people use in MMA. But when you are when you have somebody in your guard, you got to be active. you got to be working from one side to the other. Look at that scramble. transition. Ending up on top to his back. Nice powers there, shot there. Let his hooks go. Curious. Uh, exciting round. I, I'm not sure who to give that to. I, I think I would probably go Josh Jones. Yeah, there wasn't much done, but I think Josh Jones was the more active on the feet and uh, won most of the ground exchanges there until the end. So interesting fight. Both guys are competitive. We'll see. We'll see how these guys' gas tanks hold up because something that we do know as as a young fighter, somebody with not much experience. That's something hard to get a hold of is understanding how to be economical uh, with your fight, uh, with, with your tank. Definitely, you know, getting that adrenaline of walking out and kind of getting past your own emotions and nerves, learning how to deal with that is really hard for, for these younger fighters. Yeah, and for a lot of these guys, this is the first time they've stepped out into a stage like this in front of a lot of people, and it can be very nerve-wracking, and rightfully so. It should matter, it should matter to them, so uh, let's see who deals with the nerves better here. You know, it, it's a funny sport, man. This is still 99.9% .9 of people on the planet would not l walk out here without a shirt, let alone take off their shirt, get down in their underwear, and walk out, get in the cage, and Absolutely. have another guy punch and, them. And not only that, but risk winning or losing in front of a lot of people. The lovely Miss Amber Bishop off to the side of us. Ooh, I think she's offering us beer. I think. <laughs> we will. <laughs> what? Let's, we'll, we'll take her up with the beer in a little bit. And beer. Getting the second round started. Both guys look to have shifted into a different pace. Hey, yo. Big right hand turned all the way around. Oh, big left hand from Marcus Thomas. Front headlock snapped down. Everything's a power shot. Wind up, let it rip. Let's see if Josh Jones can work himself back up to his to his feet here. 
Marcus Thomas needs to work to keep pressure on top of him. I'd like to see him get off of his knees. Anytime we're on our knees, we're alleviating pressure from whoever's underneath us. Uh, you, you shouldn't see those type of things as uh, as we go on tonight. We'll, you'll see less and less of that. 100%. It's definitely a learning process for second there. I thought we were going to see a Peruvian necktie. <laughs> but then I clearly did not see the Peruvian necktie. Well, I thought he was going for it again for a second. Not sure if he knew what he was going for there. Looked like a variation of like a like a cement mixer, type, <laughs> you know, wrestling move. Ah, a nice spin to the back again, high. Really high. Needs to make sure he gets his hooks in before he starts attacking the choke. It's going to be hard to finish this for him. Marcus if, Thomas really needs to press forward, push him off. But definitely shouldn't roll to his back and just give it up. Oops. Let's see what the groundwork here is like for Mr. Josh Jones. Feet crossed, not in a body triangle. Looks like Mr. Josh Jones taking a lot of deep breaths. Like he's working a neck crank almost, Shinyaoki style. He's uh, switched to the other arm to do that. There we go, Let's see if we can get palm to palm and pull this across. You know, Marcus Thomas simply just needs to, to turn. There's not, not a lot really stopping. Those hooks are there, but we got a strained ankle lock going from guard, and he tapped him. No comment. Marcus Thomas with the old school straight ankle lock from guard for the submission victory. Dynamite Dave Hardy will get to us with our official announcement. to the action at two minutes five seconds in round number two 